What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. I know it's been a while, but in today's video, I'll be giving you guys my iPhone setup. So I'll be showing you my wallpaper, the widget, as well as all the apps that I do use on my device. So we're gonna start off with my lock screen. It's pretty basic. I don't really have anything on it, just the date and time. And we have two widgets. So the first widget is using this motivation app, which is free from the app store. And it's gonna basically give you a motivational quote every single day. And then the second widget we have is this calendar widget, which is from an app called Fantastical. It is also free. There is like an in-app purchase, but the widget uh, should be free to add onto your lock screen. Also for my wallpaper, it's gonna be from my wallpaper app called Lim Walls. Uh, it's gonna be also down below in description. It is free and you're gonna be able to customize the colors so if you don't want this kind of blue white gradient color you're going to be able to change that in the application now if we do take a look at my home screen right here we do only have two pages so if we take a look at the first we have this nice large widget which has the date right here has a greeting where it says good night we got the events so if you have any events in your calendar application it's going to update right here we obviously have new year's eve and new year's day coming up and we uh, also do have a weather forecast which is awesome so i like just seeing what the weather is all the time so i like having that on my front page and a cool thing is if we do tap on the calendar it's going to open up the calendar application and same thing if we do tap on the weather forecast or uh, anywhere around the weather, it's gonna open up the weather application. So uh, that's my uh, widget right here and it is gonna be down below in the description. It is gonna be paid. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna be upset about that, but um, if you do wanna support me, it's gonna be there in the description. But the application you are gonna be using is the Widgie app. It's free from the app store. And if you don't want to purchase mine, there are tons and tons of different types of widgets on the app itself, which I will show you. So if I load it up, I go to the Explore tab. You guys can just go under Home and look through some of these widgets. You don't have to get a large one. So if you don't want a big one, like where mine takes up basically my entire front page, you can look for a medium sized one as well. Also, I do want to mention that if you do purchase my widget, it's going to be a QR code picture. So all you have to do is go to the crate tab on Widgie, click on import and import that QR code. Now, after you've imported your selected widget, what you want to do is go to the manage tab. You want to scroll down to the size of choice that you did get. So if it's a medium widget, go to the medium slots but mine was a large one. So just look for one that's empty and then locate or find the widget that you've imported. Now you wanna go back to your home screen, go into wiggle mode, click on the plus icon. You wanna look for Widgie so we can just search that up. And then we wanna find the widget that we've imported. So if I wanted to do the exact same one, I'm gonna to go to the end right here and add that widget. And you can see right there so uh, for some of you guys if you are using a different wallpaper it's obviously not gonna match so what we want to do next is add that transparent wallpaper so what you want to do is the current wallpaper you do have you want to go back into wiggle mode go to the very last page right here so it's empty and you want to take a screenshot then you want to go back into Widgie right here you want to go to the manage tab go all the way to the top and you want to set up the transparency so it matches your wallpaper so you want to add that wallpaper or that screenshot we took at the very last page also you should definitely showcase your iphone setup with this three-in-one charger from kushu so with this three-in-one foldable charger stand you're going to be able to charge your iphone your apple watch and your airpods at the exact same time also it's super compact and lightweight so whenever you travel you're not going to have any problems so if you guys are interested in checking it out, make sure to use code Stephen Lim for 10% off. So that's basically it for the widget, probably the uh, most complex part of this video. And the only other widget I do have is this home widget. It's from the app store. It's completely free. It's kind of like a home kit alternative. I just prefer this one more than home kit, but you will see that I have my Nina Leafs line so I can just access it and turn it off and on straight from my home screen. So right here behind me, I can tap on Nina Leafs lines on the widget itself. It's going to turn off. If I want to turn it back on, we just tap on it again. And um, I know it kind of clutters our home screen since we already have this massive widget. So what I have also added is a stack widget, which is an app called MD Blank. So if I swipe down, it's going to make the widget blank. So it just kind of makes my uh, home screen look more, um, a bit more clean. So when you do download the application to your device, same exact thing like we did for the transparency for the Widget app. All you have to do is make sure you go to the set transparency background for widget and then you want to screenshot the very last page and then add it right here and once you have done that same exact thing we want to go back into wiggle mode right here so i'm just going to remove it and show you guys again 
and we want to look for the application so md blank and we've added a uh, small one so we want to add a small then from here we want to add a small blank widget you can add um, other sizes if you want to but i'm adding the small one and you will see right here if i add it to the bottom right hand corner it's not going to match the wallpaper so what you want to do is tap and hold on to it click on edit widget and then from here for the uh vertical position we're gonna select bottom since it's at the bottom and then for the horizontal we're going to set it to the right and now it should match uh the home screen right here just like that and like i showed you guys earlier i did have the home widget stacked over this widget so that's kind of basically it with the customization of my device and you will see that i don't really have much applications i'm not going to really go through any of the apps you guys can just look yourself and see what some of these applications are which you guys most likely will already know but that is my iphone home screen setup in the future i do planning on making some custom icons and adding it to this home screen setup so let me know if you guys are interested in that so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video i will try to post more on youtube i know i've been very inactive over the last year i just been focusing a lot more on short form content but i do want to go back to long form content as well but that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one